Hello friends, I welcome you all to another session on Gems of Geometry and uh, continuing with the previous session we were discussing properties of uh, X circles and in circles of a triangle. So in this session also we will be discussing some interesting facts about X circles and in circles. So you know what an X circle is and uh, you know uh, there are three X circles as you can see in the diagram. So the X circles are nothing but uh, circles which are tangent to uh, extended sides of the triangle, two extended sides of the triangle and one side of the triangle. So if you see, these are the extended sides of the triangle and this one is the third side and uh, this circle here, this one is the X circle, one of the X circles. Okay. Similarly, there are, this one is another X circle, this one is another X circle and this one is the in circle. Now in this session, uh, we are going to discuss few more properties and first is uh, the in circle and the three X circles are also called four tri tangent, tri tangent circles of the circles of the given triangle of the triangles, right? So what all? So tri tangent circles are nothing but three X circles and one in circle okay so always remember this definition now if you see and uh, we also know that uh, tangent from the same point onto a circle are equal so hence by that logic if you see let's take point b here point b this one so hence we will get b x a will be equal to b z c isn't it why because tangents 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 drawn tangents drawn on a circle on a circle on a circle from the same point okay they are equal same point are equal okay so bxa is equal to bzb similarly we can say with the same logic bxb is equal to bzb isn't it this is ZB here and this is XB here and B was here you already saw that. So BXB is equal to BZB and now can I write BXB plus BZB let me add these two what do I get. So BXB if you see closely it is nothing but BC plus CXB isn't it and then the other BZB is nothing but BA plus AZB correct right so that means can i not write this as bc plus c y b c y b why because if you see c x b is equal to c y b okay y b is here and now b a let it be as it is and a z b can be written as a y b a y b isn't it now, if you look closely, CYB and AYB added together is nothing but AC, isn't it? So, hence I can write BC plus AC plus BA, correct? Or AB plus BC plus CA, which is nothing but 2 times semi perimeter S, right? So, this is the first learning. So, what is the learning? The learning is sum of any two tangents you know so for example b x b to plus b z b is nothing but twice the semi perimeter okay now let me do the further analysis here what next if you see a y a let's consider a y a where is a y a just check a y a so a y a so y a is here this is y a and this one is a so a y a will be equal to clearly a z a same logic tangent from the same point and this will be equal to b z b b z b and this will be equal to b x b because all of them if you see will be equal to c x c is equal to c y c and all of them will be equal to s isn't it right 
Why? Because if this two bx b plus b z b was two s, and we knew that b x a is equal to b oh sorry b x b is equal to b z b, then hence you can you can say from here you can say b x b into two is equal to two s. This implies b x b is equal to b z b is equal to s, and likewise all the other pair of external tangents will also be equal. So hence you will get this result. So remember this, all the you know uh, tangents are equal to semi pyramidal right now also we know that uh, cxb if you check cxb where is c this is c and here is xb so cxb can be written as bxb minus bc is it it minus bc so which is nothing but bxb we know it is s and bc can be considered as a so s minus a and if you do the same thing if you do the same thing, uh, you know, for all others, you will get the same result. What is that? So BXC. Now let's say BXC. BXC. If you see again, it is nothing but um, CXC. CXC minus BC, which is equal to CXC. You know, all of them are S, so S minus A. So you'll get S minus A again. Similarly, you can write CYA is equal to cya is equal to cxa is equal to ayc all of them will now become equal to a z c is equal to s minus b similarly the same logic you can prove this as well and finally a z b is equal to a y b is equal to b z a is equal to b x a is equal to s minus C. So if you see, all of them are related to semi perimeter and the length of one of the sides. Correct. So spend some time, you know, pause the video and you can always understand these relationship. So if you understood these two, I just rewrote the result. That's it. Okay. So you can try and arrive at the same result. So let's uh, see some more properties of these type of triangles in the next sessions.